I'm your host, Mr. Creepy. Don't fall into the wishing well. Listen to my stories from hell. Ghosts in the afterlife. The werewolf who chomped his wife. A headless dentist on an ATV. The chicken corpse haunting KFC. Ever seen a vampire on a plane? A zombie slurping brains? While you're in your bedroom smoking in dough, didn't you notice the ghoul at your window? Sit back and relax your bones. Get onto your laptops or your phones. The YouTube address FYI is Mr. Creepy's time to die. <laughs> Bad evening. I'm your host, Mr. Creepy. Tonight's story is about a man who found himself prisoner of snuff producers. I won't give away the ending other than to say it's partially dead and partially undead. I just loved the dichotomy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't move. For some reason, I was strapped onto a chair. The back of my head was in pain. I couldn't see because of what felt like a sleep mask placed over my eyes. I wanted to yell, but I quickly realized my mouth had been duct taped. My heart was racing. I had no idea where I was or what was happening. The last thing I could remember was hanging out at a bar. Everything else was a blank. I continued to struggle, trying to break free of my constraints, but suddenly I felt somebody take my sleep mask off. The glare from the lights was blinding. I squinted and shook my head, trying to deal with the brightness from what seemed to be various light sources. However, once my eyes adjusted, I would find myself paralyzed with fear. I was in what seemed to be a section within a warehouse. I was surrounded by people who, for whatever reason, were wearing jumpsuits and masks, and pointed right at me were various cameras. I tried to speak to the masked man standing beside me, but he couldn't care less. He was too focused typing on a laptop nearby. The other masked men ignored my objections as well. It was only after scanning the whole place that I came upon a horrifying discovery. There, on a table nearby, were various ominous-looking tools and weapons. They all looked rusty, and the place reeked of a strong metallic smell. I didn't notice it before, but the floor was covered with plastic sheets. My heart dropped. I finally realized what was going on. This was some kind of place where they do snuff films or streams, and I was going to be the victim. I screamed as loud as I could through the duct tape. I also started to violently thrash about in my chair, trying to break free of my restraints. But it was no use. I was trapped. The masked man closest to me started to speak towards the cameras around the room. He was saying something along the lines of the subscribers taking part in some kind of poll to determine how I was going to be tortured and killed. I assumed it was directed at all the people who were watching the event live. I couldn't believe what was happening. I was going to die a horrible death for the entertainment of sick bastards watching online, and there was nothing I could do about it. Shortly after talking to the cameras, the masked man finally turned his attention to me. To my surprise, he peeled the duct tape away from my mouth. I was going to beg and plead with him to let me go, but I knew it was pointless. He looked at me and said that I could have some final words before the show began. You may speak. <laughs>
I just looked at him and whispered, my voice sounding like it was worn out from all the screaming I had been doing previously. Oh, so now your voice doesn't work? The masked man said sarcastically. I made another effort to say something, but nothing but a whisper came out again. Curiously, the masked man leaned in to figure out what it was I was trying to say. And that's when I took my opportunity. Using my teeth, I bit down on his mask and quickly pulled at it, slipping it off his head. The man reacted by hastily backing away. But it was too late. His face was on full display for everybody to see. The man's expression was of shock and dread. That's because he knew, with his identity revealed, he was now a liability to the people in charge of running these shows. Before he could even say a word, the other masked men in the room quickly pounced on him. He begged and screamed as they dragged him away. <laughs> I, I just started to laugh. The way I see it, if I was going to die anyway, I might as well take someone down with me. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> if I die, you die! <laughs>《Creepy here. Friends, we don't care what you thought of tonight's horror story. If you don't stab the like button and slash the subscribe bell, this will happen to you. Yeah.